So now that we have the basics of Kirchhoff's laws and the basics of the components, let's look at some basic circuits, the simplest circuits like resistor networks. And let's take a look at resistors in series. So if we have our simplest circuit that we can draw, that we can draw a battery and one resistor, and we'll label this as voltage V and resistor R. You'll see why I did that in a second. Then we can describe the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance with V equals I R1. Great, quite easy. We know this is true because if the battery is supplying V volts, then the resistance, the voltage must drop by V volts across the resistor so that by the time you go all the way around, you're back to zero. So plus V minus V. But what if the circuit was a little more complicated? What if instead we had a second resistor right here? So let's go ahead and modify our circuit and add a second resistor here. We'll label that as R2. This no longer applies. What we know now is that there's some voltage drop across here, R1, and another voltage drop across here. The sum of them have to be V, because otherwise Kirchhoff's second voltage law would not be true, right? that all the volts have to be equal to zero across the loop. But we do know that the same current is flowing through both of them, because there's only one current that can be possible here, right? The net amount of current over any given loop exiting and entering, loads has, uh, entering nodes has to be the same. So if I is exiting here, then I must be entering here. If I is then entering here, that means it must also be exiting here as I, and then I must be entering here as well in the same amount. So there's only one I, one current to think about. So if this is R1, and there's a voltage drop here and a voltage drop here, they are not the same. How do we know what the voltage drops are? And how do we describe the voltage to current relationship in this situation? Well, since we know that the currents are all equal, we know, let's say that this was say I1 and I2, right, for the two, two currents flowing through both of these. We know that whatever the voltage drop is here, and we'll, let's call this one V1, and we'll call this one V2. We know that V, big V, must be equal to V1 plus V2. Because right, if we kick these over to the other side, then all of them together must be equal to zero. That is Kirchhoff's second voltage law. But we also know that V is equal to IR, the total resistance of all of these things, however they come together, must be still true for V equals IR. So we have some total resistance. We don't know how to calculate it yet, but we do know that that must be true. So we still know at the high level that V must equal I times R total, whatever the total resistance is between this node and this node. We're gonna call that RT. We don't know what that is yet, but we're gonna figure it out because we know this property that V equals V1 plus V2 from Kirchhoff's second law. And what is V1? Well, V1 is just I1, the current flowing through this, times R1. But that I1, the current flowing through this, is this I. It's the same I. And therefore, we can rewrite this equation as I R1. Same thing we can do then for V2. We know that there's a single I flowing through V2, through, through, resistance, through the second resistor, the same I that is the only current that's flowing through the entire circuit is only one path, right? And in order for all of these to exit and enter at the same, it has to be one I. That means we can just then do this as plus I, the same I, R2. And guess what? We've pretty much solved our, our series equation here because if we factor this, right, V equals I times R1 plus R2, this I, and this I are the same, this V and this V are the same. What that must mean is we now have an equivalence, RT is equal to R1 plus R2. And thus for a series resistance where two resistors are put together in the same line, in the same path on one loop of a circuit, that's series resistance, the total resistance that you see is just the sum 
of one and the other. Basic property of series resistances looked at only by Kirchhoff's laws and understanding that voltage drops must be conserved and current must be the same across a single loop where the current can't go anywhere else. 